Well, here we are in the midst of the Lenten season. It's a time when, as Christ followers, we usually think about all that Jesus gave up for us when he surrendered his life on the cross. It's a time when we realize, gosh, if Jesus could do that, couldn't I at least give up my evening dish of ice cream or a favorite bedtime snack? What about giving up television during these 40 days leading up to Easter? Or maybe I refrain from using profanity or, or pornography or cynicism or you name it. What is it for you? This year, for me and possibly for you, the Lenten season no doubt has taken on a totally different turn. When Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent, arrived a little over a month ago, little would we realize how much we would be giving up without having a choice to do so. The privilege of going wherever I want, whenever I want. The ability to find exactly what I need at the store. The privilege of being with a loved one that now we can't be with. The gift of being able to work or go to my place of work and be with and see those who I spend so much of my time with and, and the list goes on and on. Maybe, like many, Lent has become somewhat muted in the static noise of a busy world around us with constant news feeds and, and dismal news at best. Or perhaps Lent has been totally forgotten in the midst of it all. So what if? What if we considered making the most of this 2020 season of Lent right now? While we consider all that we don't have right now, let's be sure to look just a little deeper and begin thanking God for what we do have. For most, shelter, water, a supply of food, a place to lay our head at night, and especially for our health. For those who are physically or emotionally weak at this moment, just know that God is with you. He goes before you and nothing you're experiencing today is a surprise to him, nothing. Instead of giving up something in this season of Lent, let's instead give up words of adoration, words of blessing and of thanksgiving to the creator of it all, recognizing in the midst of this current storm who God is and what he has given us through Jesus' death and resurrection. That's really what Lent is all about. In fact, that's what worship is all about. Thank you.